These events have given the, uh, the, the growers the opportunity to discuss calibration, to discuss best practice, to, to get the best uh, from using spray equipment, from uh, PPE, protective personal equipment selection, uh, and basically to, uh, to, to interact and, and, and to discuss best practice really. Uh, this is one of three events we've held this year, all nursery based again to give a higher level of interaction, uh, one at Roundstones. The next one will actually be on the 29th of February at Nocton Nurseries in Lincoln, uh, so there's still availability there. In terms of demonstrations, uh, there was three aspects to demonstrations. First of all, it's calibration of both the Ripper sprayer and knapsack application. They've also looked at nozzle selection. Uh, Bill Bassford, one of the presenters, uh, has actually brought along a selection of nozzles to look, discuss, and to see if there's potential use in horticulture. And the third element basically is spraying technique and getting the best from the sprayer so that the, the applications made uh, uh, are optimised. I think these, these are sort of events are extremely valuable. Um, we can discuss the problems that growers have and the sort of you know, talk that I've just given is on protective clothing. We can talk about the sort of issues that are arise with protective clothing and discuss the compatibility and the issues that come that are specific to growers' requirements. It's real life and it's in a real situation. And not only that, we're discussing problems of crop protection right across the board on a whole range of crops on site and with, with people who actually find the real problems. Good opportunities these are days like this because it gives you an opportunity to get growers together to be able to talk about some of the important issues to get the most out of the effort that you put into growing. And you need to be able to just remind everyone of some of those important issues that make you get the best out of your spraying activities. Make the most out of the money that it costs you to do it and to make sure it's far more efficient and effective in crop protection. Well, we're talking a lot around calibration of sprayers. Very often people will just pick up the sprayer, fill it up and use it without thinking about actually what is it physically sending out? What is it actually doing? Uh, and what, what is it physically spraying? Making sure that you understand the rates that you're doing so that you can comply fully with the labels and with the chemicals that you're applying and making sure that you cover all the statutory points that are important. The demonstrations we've been doing today um, are important for growers. It's important that when we come together on times like this we can stress the importance of them and we want people to be able to be more efficient at what they're doing, more economic in what they're doing and to be able to see a much more healthier, happier crop that we know their customers will enjoy. It's good that uh, the HDC run these kind of events. It's an opportunity to get growers together uh, to talk about uh, the real issues that are happening on the nurseries. So today we're covering uh, pesticides and the correct use of pesticides. Obviously I'm coming from a, an integrated pest management system background so we're trying to limit the use of opportunities to spray by you know, good cultural practices using biological control and then when you have to use pesticides um, use them the, the correct one so to prevent resistance issues um, and also any kind of problems with uh, re-establishment of beneficials later on. Girls can get more information about the, the events and actually uh, about the spray check by looking on the HDC website which is www.hdc.org.uk or they can contact HDC directly by telephone.